Hey everybody, Phil Crew here. Welcome to Comedy Cigars and Music. And today's cigar for review is the Aladino Corojo. Off the foot and wrapper, I'm getting prune, sweet hay, and dark chocolate. And the Aladino Corojo has a Honduran wrapper, binder, and fillers. All right. I'm finishing out second third here. I'm gonna show you guys that ash and burn and then I'll catch you guys up on the light up and first third. Great burn and ash as you can see right there. All right, so first off the Aladino Corojo has a great draw, good smoke output. The draw has perfect amount of resistance, really good. By the way, I was gonna put another slow motion shot in there uh, like I did the last two reviews of, you know, the slow motion shot of me blowing out smoke, trying to look all cool. But uh, I only did it twice and I already annoyed myself, so I'll spare you that. Anyway, from light up, earth, umami, and sweetness. On the retrohale, a touch of leather, a touch of salt, and then there's this spice that kind of hits the nose, almost as an afterthought. Kind of interesting, kind of cool, maybe. And then on the finish, there's just this hint of meatiness, and kind of like in the retrohale, the spice just kind of started developing and ramped up to just the sweet spot of where I like it with the uh, spiciness in a cigar. So light up was great. The aromas coming off the foot smoke of this cigar have been a nice earth, wood, and sweetness. So that's kind of made a nice little room note here, which is enjoyable little atmosphere to be smoking in. And as I'm catching you guys up here, this keeps burning beautifully. I am going to remove the band because I don't care to smoke the band. Not destined to be a band burner, I guess. Speaking of which, I wonder what kind of notes people get out of bands. I don't know. Let's get into the first third here, though. On the first third, I got some wood, sweetness, and salt. And that saltiness kind of goes through this whole cigar, as you'll kind of see, at least up to the second third. And it's just underlying. It's not like I took, you know, a canister of Morton salt and, like, poured it in my mouth and then took puffs. So that salt's just kind of present, but very subtle. The retro ale on the first third is this coffee and in the coffee there's the best way so sometimes when i'm smoking a cigar and i don't know about you guys but sometimes i can as i'm getting the flavors i kind of get this visual of it and so the retro hail is this nice coffee but like imagine this circle of coffee and then there's this dark chocolate right on the outer edges there just kind of hanging on the outer edges there that's kind of how that flavor hit me in the retro hail or the smell hit me in the retro hail whatever you want to call it but that's how it hit me. And then on the finish, earth, coffee, and sweetness through the first third. Now catching us up here to the second third. Cinnamon, oak, sweet cream, earth, and again, just that little bit of salt in there. That cinnamon, when that punches through, very, very good. On the retro hail, there's some earth and coffee right now. And then on the finish, some coffee and sweetness. No touch-ups whatsoever. The burn hasn't even really gotten that wonky. I mean, there's been a couple spots that it hasn't been razor sharp. Uh, that's been about it. Never have I thought that I'm going to need to touch this thing up, and I really don't see it happening going to the end here. All right, finishing out the Aladino Corojo and Robusto here. Final third, oak, earth, just a hint of milk chocolate that kind of underlies both of those, and then every so often, cinnamon is still kind of just peeking in a little bit here. Okay, and on the retro hail, earth, and... I don't mean this bad, but as I got further into the final third here on the retro hail, cardboard started coming in. So earth, right when it starts going out my nose, and then cardboard kind of kicks a little bit. Uh, that's every so often, not all the time, but enough that it's worth mentioning. So the finish starts with this leather, and then as that leather's kind of just laying on my tongue there, it just melts into this nice dark coffee. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so rating this cigar. On a scale of four, I would give this cigar a three. Cigar is a nice, enjoyable smoke. Just kind of hangs out like Forrest Gump waiting for the bus. And who doesn't like Forrest Gump? Draw and smoke output throughout the whole cigar were awesome. Uh, the burn, never had to touch up, never messed with it. So I always enjoy that. Smoke time for this cigar came out to an hour and 23 minutes. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this review, if you enjoyed other videos, other reviews, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure to leave all your questions and comments below. I'll get to them as they come along. Until next time, guys, be cool to each other, and I'll see you soon. Oh,